It's here, the first Nissan 300ZX, a technological marvel, computerized, digitalized, civilized. The new 300ZX, powered by a new turbocharged V6. This sports car is awesome. Come alive, come and drive. At your Datsun dealer. Hey gang, and welcome to episode seven of Retro Motors. This month, we're gonna be taking a look at my very own Nissan 300ZX Z31. which I call a liter. The Nissan 300ZX is a sports car in the Nissan Z car family that was produced across two similar but unique generations. As with all other versions of the Z, the 300ZX was sold across the Japanese domestic market under the name Fairlady Z. Sold in Japan from 1983 to 2001 and in the United States from 1984 through 1996, the addition of the X to the car's name was a carryover from its predecessor, the 280ZX, to signify the presence of a more luxury and comfort orientated features. The first generation 300ZX, known as the Z31 model, was produced from 1983 through 1989 and was a sales success becoming the highest volume Z car for Nissan. Previous to this car, I owned the Z32. The twin turbos. Yeah. 300ZX. The name is Nissan. It was a, a real dream of mine to own one of those because I spent an inordinate amount of time in the arcades putting coin after coin into those machines. Tato's uh, Special Police Investigation and Chase HQ. More! Push it more! Please! you're under arrest on suspicion of selling drugs. I used to spend hours on those games and imagine like, what if I could actually own one of those luxury sports cars myself? When I saw the 1984 release of the Z, the Z31, I really had to have one. Then this blue one came up. It was a UK spec. Now the UK spec Z31 output around 240 brake horsepower and had a top speed of around 125 miles an hour. This was a five-speed manual, single turbo, using the VJ30ET engine. A silky smooth V6 with a turbocharger, and uh, sounds awesome. I owned the Z31 for only 12 months, and I put a hell of a lot of work into it before selling it on. It was with heavy heart that I had to move this on because I couldn't see this thing driven through a UK winter. It would be unfair on the car. I had classics for another two years, and I never thought I'd see the Z31 again. I sold my Porsche 944 and almost a week later, the guy who owned this car called me and said, would you like your Z back? Thank you. So I called him, I arranged to meet, I saw the car and it had hardly changed since I had owned it. He had only put 5,000 miles on it and I just threw the cash at him. When I got the car back, uh, I certainly felt at home again with it. And um, I put it in the garage and little by little, I've worked on it and improved it at the time, they were just about to release a film that was based on a retro Japanese anime called Alita Battle Angel. It's effectively an old machine in a future world, but it still holds up performance-wise today. This particular model originally came with a black trim around the entire car. It was quite fitting to the era, 1984. It was quite a retro look to the whole thing. And I think with the full body respray, it's kind of modernized the look a little bit. What I absolutely love about this interior is the orange gauges on the black background and uh, everything is up front and ready driver focused. You've got your cruise control, all of your um, switches and, and uh, dials just close at hand 
And then in the center here, you've got your two gauges with your boost gauge and your temperature readout. Some tactile buttons on the center console here for all of your heating controls. Um, it has got a modern stereo in here only because I wanted to play my music. And previous to this, I don't even think it had a tape player. On this particular model, it has electric windows and electric side mirrors, which you can control from inside here. You can also electronically adjust the shocks to soft, neutral or firm setting. The interior of this car is a personal favorite of mine with a two-tone blue, velour and leather look interior and what retro Japanese sports car is complete without some pop-up headlights. Sorry guys, I've got to stop it there because I'm late for a date with a very special guest.
try again. Oh, shit. Hey, hey guys, we're NRW Motors and we're here shooting with Nina today at Retroids Bar in Worcester. Woo! Check out the links below. Do it! Check out our awesome tunes, man. Do it. Just do it. We'll see you in the next episode of NRW Motors. Yeah. Uh, That's the brand. So cruise control and what else? Got? Sorry, I'm just trying to sort of pick out different bits that I can talk about. Um, uh, Start talking nonsense. I know nothing. If you want to become a producer and help support the show, then head over to our Patreon page now.